Welcome to Pencil Power, and I am your host, Zip Alegria. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and draw hands and feet. I know a lot of people have trouble with those, so I'm going to show you little tricks that I know, things that I do that, uh, that has worked for me so far. Uh, I've learned these tricks and tips uh, from teachers and other students uh, that I've met, other uh, professional artists even. Uh, these are just like little tricks I learned. So, here we go. This is pretty simple. You got your palm area right here. Then we got each individual finger as an elongated circle. So, my biggest advice I can give to any artist out there is you draw with shapes. Everyone has to draw with shapes because uh, that's just, it works best that way. Like, working with shapes, you can build up that way. And I see a lot of people having problems with that or they forget to build up with shapes. Um, a good friend of mine named Alex uh, uh, once told me about that. And ever since then, I was like, you know what? You're right. And I've always done it, but I never really saw it that way. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, start drawing this. So here's my shapes. I got my palm, my fingers. And these are just my guidelines. These are not the final thing is how the fingers are going to look like. So here we go. We got a basic just hand, open palm hand. Merge these two. We start off with that red on the left, which is just a shape. And we ended up with that. So now I know you're thinking to yourself, like, okay, that's nice. I know how to draw a flat hand, but that's not really that hard. How do I draw, you know, a fist or a hand coming at you? Well again, there's shapes. Um, let's start with fists. I actually learned how to draw fists from a friend of mine. Who uh, uh, Eric Matos? You might know him from a uh, web comics web series, uh, 3D three dollar bill, and the website is 3db.com. The word dot com dot com. Um, it's hard to tell that to people, but um, he used to draw hands pretty uh, fists pretty much like this. Um, I do it. Boom. And here we go. He would draw this giant circle for the palm doing it again for you. Put a straight line. One finger will always come out for some reason. And the other fingers would be just one giant block. Finish that off and then you put in the, the thumb afterwards. Sometimes you get a thumb going over. And that's a simple looking, you know, fist. These are the same thing. I just do that one there because uh well, because I like to confuse you guys. Um <laughs> no I don't, sorry. Here we go. We got our palm and our fingers that are bent. What is that? How is that a hand? Well, let's get to that right now. We got those two hands. Now you can see what it is. It's kind of like maybe it's Goku holding a power ball in his hand. Like so. Ah, why are you being so difficult? <laughs> like so. You know, boom. Oh my god. So there's something like that. Um, Alright, so we got those hands. Uh, so that's another simple one. Now, one more. We're going to go one more hand and then we're going to go to feet. But first, before we go to feet, the hardest thing I, I, I know a lot of people have a hard time with drawing on hands is the hands that are foreshortened, the hands that are coming at you. And uh, those are pretty hard, I'll admit. Um, I used to have a hard time with, uh, with hand, uh, for example, like Spider-Man's climbing something, he's coming at you. I used to have the hardest time drawing that. Um, but uh, I learned this trick, and I'm going to show you right now. And uh, I use it a lot, and it works. circle for the palm here and then you draw the each finger individually boom 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 
and then you get that, right? So that's pretty much the simple solution to drawing hands. And you can just keep working with that, look at just your hand, imagine it and being, you know, uh, shapes, being a circle or being a square, you know, whatever shape you, you tend to work with uh, more. As you can tell, I worked with mostly circles, but I could also go to, like, you know, the 3D squared shape, too. But, you know, in the end, just uh, work with what makes it what you feel most comfortable with. Uh, so there, we got that out, out of the way. Now time for feet. Uh, one of my teachers in uh, college, her name is Miss Ruth Block. Great teacher, amazing. I, I learned a lot of uh, from life drawing from her. I realized I was actually pretty good at life drawing. Um, so I really think she's a really good teacher. Um, but anyways, uh, so she told me to draw feet kind of like this. She gave me this weird shape. And, you know, being a guy, I saw a phallic symbol. Um, and that actually works. That looks like nothing, but trust me, that actually works. So this is the heel right here. You got the front of the foot right there. And this is going to connect in part for, you know, the, the whole foot. So, with that being there, let's go ahead and start drawing. That's a simple side view foot. Let's go ahead and start from the front now. So we've got the side view foot. And as you start doing the side and the front, you'll start coming up with your own ways of doing, you know, a quarter view of the feet and so on. Um, which is cool. Oop. Alrighty then. Let's go ahead and draw the foot from the front. So let's say we got our knee here. Someone said, alright, here's the shin. got our calf, our ankles right there, that's what I made that circle for. This is for me to know that that's where the foot's going to be. You can make another shape right there and then give yourself more shapes for the toes. We got five toes, of course, unless you know, you're going without five toes, and I'm sorry, it's unfortunate, but you know, this is for normal toes. Um, Alright, here we go. So now let's go ahead and draw one more foot um, before we get to the actual final piece where we incorporate everything we learned. Um, I'm draw a foot kind of going at an angle, kind of like almost upwards. Uh, and again, circle, circle. I'm going to draw the left foot because it already looks like the, it's kind of indenting this way. Right here. Boom. See the indent right there? So uh, let's go with, let's see that that's the left foot. And uh, draw the toe, big toe right here. Little toe, another toe. Alright, there. Maybe it's gonna step on a little person right here. So here we go. Boom. Quick foot from the bottom. So here's just the little things that I worked on. So we got our hands and our feet here. Oop. And then group up those feet. Alright, you see all that, folks? Alright, so let's get go ahead and get draw started on drawing. I'm going to go on a break real quick, and then I'll come back, and we will draw the Hulk. Since he's a good, awesome guy who uh, has a lot of emotion with his hands, jumps up, and uh, is barefoot, and has epic freaking hands and feet, because he's just a big Hulk. Let's go ahead and draw the Hulk. I'm going to do maybe two or three different thumbs, and... Uh, We'll figure out which one we want. Or I might just draw the first one and actually like it, but we'll see. So I don't want to draw the whole 
jumping and I want to show off his hands and his feet so ooh, this is a good one already I want to have in my head right now you guys can't see it alright so uh, I'm gonna fast forward this and you guys can watch <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and, uh, I'm thinking we're going to go ahead and draw the last one I just finished. Uh, right here. Um, I like that one the most, so let's go ahead and start working on that one. So I'm going to go ahead and make that bigger here, and we're going to go ahead and start working on this, making this look pretty freaking sweet. This has been a tutorial on hands and feet. This is Zip saying thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next week on Pencil Power.